you know, we, we were just talking to our previous guests. It's 11 months of this regulatory crackdown we've seen from Beijing now. And I'm looking at the Hang Seng hmm. Tech Index. At least we're, we're inching closer to being back in a bull market. Can sentiment stabilize from here on forward? Do you think valuations can actually gain? Or do you think we're still dealing with the shocks of common prosperity? I, I believe the market is still uh, finding the bottom valuation uh, of the Chinese uh, internet stock. Um, but I think after the recent uh, policy statement uh, from uh, President Xi Jinping and Vice Premier Liu He reiterating that the government policy in support of the digital economy, uh, we would see some stabilization in risk sentiment. However, given the regulatory tightening is not yet over. So we think um, the market will remain volatile and, and company would uh, still be very sensitive to news headline. Um, take for example, last Friday, uh, we uh, also saw quite a sharp uh, market volatility in response to news related to online games approval. Uh, we actually don't think uh, it would be a repeat of the 2018 online game approval suspension that lasts for um, eight, eight months. Um, but we think um, that the government is still working uh, on a new regulatory uh, regime um, that would uh, enhance the the control of the state uh, over this fast-growing uh, sector, G given uh, regulators have been uh, lagging behind the disruptive change uh, over the past decade. Um, so it would take time for this new regulatory regime to be uh, established and, and provide more clarity to investors so that the um, market can properly assess the risk. So, Van, I mean, everybody's looking for the next shoe to drop, aren't they, mm. here? But it hasn't. So people looking at that as good news in the sense that people are looking at more investable sides of the, the, the market there as well. But, mm -hmm. you know, it's not over, is it, by any stretch of the imagination? And what do you tell your clients as a consequence? Yeah. Uh, we think um, the regulatory tightening is an ongoing trend. It's not yet over. Uh, however, I think China's new economy sector is actually very uh, diverse uh, and immense. So uh, apart from the... A uh, platform economy stock, uh, the so-called um, the, the internet stock. Uh, we actually see um, other in uh, growth sense, opportunities yeah. in the U new economy uh, sector, such as high-end technology, but green it, technology. It, it, in some senses, the big boys being cut to size, mm. and one of the reasons is that they swallow up the smaller competition there as well. So, is there anything down there that you look, you bottom fish, if you, if you like? Okay, I think number one. Um, there has been a significant regulatory risk premium uh, already priced in uh, the Chinese internet stock. Um, so after this big sell-off, um, strategic investors uh, actually start to uh, look for value. Of course, uh, we don't think this uh, policy risk premium would be over uh, in the near term, uh, but with uh, those industry leaders which are sitting uh, on strong balance sheets and, and with strong market presence, uh, I think their inherent value starts to attract long-term investors to look for uh, bargain hunting opportunities. But we need yeah. to be very selective. Fan, you mentioned a financial opening. We were talking about this private wealth connect mm -hmm. that, that's about to kick off next month. We talk about Xi Jinping talking about you know the financial reopening is still mm -hmm. very much something that is a priority. What sort of opportunities does that open up for, mm -hmm. for private bankers like yourself? And what are you suggesting are, are those themes now? Yeah, I think um, the, the kickoff of Wealth Connect uh, offers tremendous um, new business opportunities for financial uh, institutions uh, which are well positioned uh, in the um, uh, greater China market. Um, and, and with the um, uh, continuous strong growth in private wealth, uh, but with a lack of um, viable and, and robust uh, investment solutions. I think the Wealth Connect also provides um, pretty attractive investment opportunities for the middle class uh, individuals uh, in China. So I think financial institutions uh, that are well positioned uh, in the um, um, greater China market uh, and with strong uh, wealth management capability uh, would be able to uh, capture this new growth, um, new, new growth engine. I'm sure you've been talking to a lot of HSBC's wealthy clients on, on, on that side of the border, the Greater Bay Area. What is the sense you're getting on where they do want to take their money now that they possibly in the next few weeks can take that money somewhere else? 
I think uh, investors um, have turned uh, more prudent in positioning in the China market uh, on the back uh, of the um, uh, ongoing regulatory uh, uncertainty. Uh, but with the size of the Chinese economy and with um, or continue uh, structural growth trend, um, in fact, we expect the 14 5 year plan to uh, continue to drive um, structural growth uh, exposed to technology upgrade and the sustainability revolution. So our clients uh, have been uh, very active in seeking opportunities in those uh, resilient and, and more defensive sector which continue to enjoy strong government policy support. Um, so as I highlighted earlier, um, currently um, the government um, actually focus a lot uh, on, uh, on the promotion of common prosperity. So this uh, will also um, provide policy initiative to support the expansion of the middle class uh, segment. And, and there would be uh, policies uh, to promote uh, the increase in um, household wealth and disposable income. So this would also bring uh, opportunities uh, for, for those uh, consumer-facing sector, especially in the mass and affluent segment.